Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. YouTube, Numbers Post 1975, and welcome to, I was going to say a system overview, but system is obviously too strong a descriptive term for what it is. Welcome to a product overview. Welcome to take two of this product overview, because this is the second time I'm filming it, but never mind, I will go through it as if it was all boxed and brand new and hunky-dory, because... Um, I really, really like this product. I do really like this product. Is it for everyone? Certainly not. But that's what this video is for you to find out. It is called the Orb Retro Mini TV Handheld Console. TV Plus and Play Plus and Play uh, includes 308 bit games and two wireless controllers. I got this off Amazon for 20 quid and change. And I got it for one simple reason. It's a mini CRT TV. It's not a CRT TV. The system itself is a mini uh, CRT shaped TV. And I think that is absolutely fantastic. Now, if you think the name Orb rings a bell, Orb are the people who make these, these systems. You, I haven't reviewed this because I've reviewed one that's very similar to this. I, if you go for my videos, I forget what it's called, but it's black with a rainbow across it. And it's exactly the same as this. Um, only the reason I didn't do this one is, well, because same games, just they made it look like a game and watch. But all make these things that show up in your sort of hobby high street stores. And because they're in the high street, they can't blatantly get away with loading them with, you know, ripped off, you know, Nintendo Famicom or, you know, NES ROMs. They have to kind of come up with their own games. And I find that a certain charm in itself, that you have a bunch of people sat around scratching their heads and or asses. And their job is to come up with games for what is basically 8-bit hardware. I'm sure there are games in here that have been pinched uh, or reskinned or are probably at some point in their life were genuine Famicom or NES games. But the majority of them are made up. Now, basically, it says on the back, two points... Well, it says on the front, where is it? No, the side, three-inch colour screen, TV Plus and Play includes two wireless controllers. But it says on the back, 2.5-inch screen. So, make your mind up. And it also says, um, takes three AAA batteries or runs on a micro, micro USB cable, which is not included, can be connected to the TV. So, that's cool in itself. Although, to be honest, I bought it because I love the form factor. I absolutely love the form factor of this. Um, so, it includes an AV cable. Uh, doesn't include the three AAA batteries, but it does include the watch batteries that each of the handheld wireless controllers take. So, that's kind of cool because I would have thought that that each one takes two um, so you get four watch batteries in it again I know this because this is take two so I would have thought that four wireless uh, what four watch batteries right? I, I know they're not called watch batteries but you know what I mean um, would probably be more expensive than buying supermarkets own four AAA batteries so why don't you just include them as well anyway it was sealed I have opened it there is it is a nice box and there is some weight to it uh, we open it up and it comes, as you would expect, in a plastic tray. It is pretty well packaged. Now, what's interesting about this one, you've got instructions here, but we don't be doing instructions. You actually get a manual or a pamphlet, manual, a pamphlet, I should say, that shows you what Orb's actual products are, which is kind of cool because I've not seen these before. And there you go. You can see the kind of Game & Watch knockoff one. Uh, in the top right hand corner. I do actually have that one as well, which I have reviewed. So I'm wondering there's going to be a bunch of shared games across all these systems. Uh, and then you got your, I always find these ones funny. Stick it in a gun and then, you know, use your phone. Same with the arrow, bow and arrow. Uh, use your phone, you know, as a device for the screen. That one's kind of cool. Stick your um, MP3 player. Is it an MP3 player or phone? That's an MP3 player. In a, you know, 80s stereo um, boombox looking device. Anyway, we're not here for this. You get what is a TV stand, 
which is kind of cool. And you do get rabbit ears, which is even cooler. Massive points for the attention to detail on that. Downside to these is, on the actual device, there is nowhere to secure them, in case you're wondering, because I only put batteries in one of the wireless controllers, because there's only one of me, so, you know. Uh, there you go, you get four of those. You get your AV cable, so obviously when you connect it to the TV, it's not gonna rock super high quality. You get two, two wireless pads, which are super, super small and super light. If I let go of my hand, let move my hands, I should say, right now, both of these would just be perpetually floating there. Right, but very light and they feel cheap as chips, which is what you would expect. But, you know, 20 quid, what do you expect? They do the job. They actually do the job because I'm shooting this video in reverse. I can tell you from when I played it, they're more than adequate. But here is the device itself. And I think it's absolutely fantastic. It does actually have three AAA batteries, sorry for the glare, already inserted within. And you do have to uh, take the back off with a screwdriver as you do on the two control pads themselves I guess so someone pointed out to me once when I complained about this to stop kids choking on them but I kind of think that's you know Darwinism and thinning out the uh, the, food, the food chain <laughs> the gene pool of uh, idiots but it's it's a really really nice little CRT telly on the back you get an on and off switch an AV out and a micro USB on the front you've got an actual volume rocker that works. Would have liked it if you clicked it and then it would be turn it on and then go up. I know I'm splitting airs to, don't know why I'm leaning like that, to hurt the volume up and down. So then it would be even more like an old school telly. Look, do I go there? Nope. There is nowhere on the back to connect the rabbit ears, which I find really, really disappointing because how cool would that have looked? Unless they're supposed to, oh, maybe, maybe. Maybe they're supposed to go like that. I know they can do, because that's not, it should be like that. Rabbit ears should always be on the back like that, you know, like an old school curtain burner. Um, rabbit ears and curtain burners in the same phrase. Awesome. I'm spoiling you with nostalgia today. But I do like that. I'm not going to lie, this is the main reason I bought it. It's, it's, it's a cool little display piece. Now, if I turn it on... I will try and film a bit of footage so you can see the screen because in actual person the screen is really really nice it's not like you know going to compete with your phones and stuff like that but for 20 quid i think it's really really nice it's got decent volume and as you can see one player or two player so if you go into one player it will list the number of games right which pad am i connected to not that one there you go Wireless pads, I mean, I don't know what you, how wireless, what, is this like the old school shit from back in the day or not, but it's running off watch batteries and it works fine. Right, so if you go into one game, I will film the screen and I will capture some of it on my TV. Start. Then it says 216 in one. Uh, so you're thinking, where are my other games? You lied to me, you lied to me. Here's the thing though, right? Select, start, both together. All buttons at once you, you can't come back out of it you actually have to physically on and off the thing absolute massive points off that 20 quid or not but if you go into two-player game then you get your other 80 84 and one 84 games so these are your standard sort of um, title screens for orb stuff but I have to say I really do like the design of it the screen is actually really really nice again you're not going to see that from me capturing it with a phone and like attention to detail again though points off for the rabbit ears let's stick it on the stand right so you've got it's, it's actually shaped like a proper old school TV stand in the sense that if you don't put it in the right way it will be on the piss if you stand it up correctly then the screen is ever so slightly pointing up anyway quite like this so let's see if I can capture it's gonna be a bit crude I'm gonna do it with my phone um, because I've tried it with my camcorder and it simply won't register on the screen for some reason I'm gonna try and capture a little bit of footage I'm gonna play just a couple of games like that before I plug it into my TV now, apologies for how I'm capturing this. I'm capturing it on my phone and my phone won't let me set the um, the focus to 
uh, manual so there might be some zooming in and out and there might be a bit of glare but I have to at least try and show you a little bit of playing this system in its I guess you could argue in the form factor it's designed for whether this is a gimmick or not you know more for display purposes and if you're going to play it properly for length then I mean if you're going to play games like this properly for length then I'm pretty sure you might want to go and buy something a bit better but that would be when you plug it into your TV so let's just reset it now as I said the biggest fault with this is um, there's no reset. Any combination of buttons on the pad will not reset it. You have to turn it on and off on the back of the actual TV. So I know it's a cheap, cheap, cheap orb product and 20 quid. But, I mean, I'm sure there are other ones have a reset button and stuff like that. Anyway, so one player, two player. Obviously, we can't be doing two player games. But the, I don't think I've ever seen an orb device that has two player on it before. But one. Now, there's a game I do want to show you on here. So if we go down to... Thunderman, is that Thunderman? Yep, you press start. Um, I've got a vague feeling I said this before when I've, because I've definitely played this on another product made by Orb there. Is that Naruto? Clearly that's a knocked off image. But this is when I say that there are games on it that are actually, you know, decent, fully realized and playable games such as this. Clearly NES games. I'm guessing this is a reskinned NES game. I mean, the character animation is pretty much very much Pretty much, very much, <laughs> Sunsoft's Batman. Look, look at the way he runs. But yeah, so there are there are playable games on it. You probably have to go looking through a lot um, to find, you know, a chunk of them. But yeah. So I mean, just the fact that there's a little CRT telly, it's adorable. Right. So anyway, apologies. Have to do this again. It's probably going to annoy me a lot more than it annoys you. Then we go one player again, and then we just go forward a bunch of times. Just looking at the titles and stuff, I do I do recognise a bunch of these. So you know, they just they just rinse and repeat their games across everything. Is this baseball? I I don't know. Oh no! Wait, what is this? Yes, it's Olympics. I'm not going to lie. I didn't ever so quite quite completely feel in control of that. But there you go. That's probably... Is that a reskin NES game? I don't know. I find the music rather offensive to my ears. Let's have a look at something else. I'm only going to do this for a few of them. I just I wanted you to try and appreciate what it looks like as an Ickle Mini Telly. bit annoying that you can't ramp through this bit as fast as you, could, or you want to, but... I know, I know, small issues, small first world issues, what's that? Hunter Alone. Points for the name, I guess. Ooh, right. What is this? Right. Wow, okay. Not very good, is what this is. Listen to the music. So what am I actually supposed to be shooting? This. I'm guessing this is supposed to be two player. Am I even achieving anything? I don't know. I don't know. See, this is where, never mind the instruction manual for what the actual system does. How about this bloody game? Right, pause. Because that's not an irritating noise, is it? We'll go backwards this time. We'll go backwards. Again, see what I mean? If you don't line the TV stand up properly, the unit's on the piss. Or maybe that's the pile of PSP games and movies it's stuck on. I don't know. Again, all first world problems. Panda. I can't read it. I'm sat quite far back. Listen to that! Listen to that just collection of random noises designed to irritate. Oh. What? 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 I got duck. The real reason pandas are on the extinct uh, endangered species list. They can't jump for shit. <laughs> Right, 
Last game, last game, and then I'm gonna plug it into the telly. Spoiler alert, I've already done it. Um, what does it say? But I don't know. Are they? They read it repeating the music. And the game style. Yeah, I got no idea. Is it just a high score challenge? So, let uh, one more. I'm determined to find that that Thunderman is not the only good game I've found on here. Amusement park. Come on, come on. So it's just a collection of weird platform games. With English Country Garden playing in it. Because I don't know about you, but I definitely associate that tune with um, amusement parks. Is this, am I? I'm assuming this is what I'm supposed to be doing. I honestly don't know. Why does that ring kill me? Anyway, right, apparently I've only found one good game. Let's go and plug it into the TV and see what happens then. Maybe we can live the dream. So here we are, it's plugged into my TV via the AV leads and, and, I genuinely like that music. I mean, to me, that sounds sort of something that would be above what the NES can produce. But then what do I know? I never owned one. Uh, right, so one or two players, uh, and I can actually see the screen. Now, now here's the other thing. It's, um, I am sat. I don't know how wireless controllers work or anything like that. I'm just surprised that these, for such small items and cheaply made as them, perform as well as they do. Um, but, but, the point being, I am sat a, I would say, a meter away from the actual unit itself which is going to make it fun to reset i am aware of that and look forms fine right okay he says that so yeah right let's get into it here you can see the games of uh, curly monkeys cut fruit i like the cut of your jib uh jan ken punch shark thunderman champion boat sketch pad sketch pad sold small sketch pad Dear God, that's the stuff of nightmares. What's that? And I don't mean the traffic. Oh! Wait. Oh, okay, do you know what? <laughs> that's actually half cool. Look. I would have preferred it, it's a colouring book, I would have preferred it if it gave me the ability to actually draw. Why do I want an art, why do you want an art package on a knockoff piece of Chinese tire, Dave? Yay! Select and start bringing you back to the, uh, the menu. Oh my god, it's like the thing. I could have fun with this. I could use some of these as thumbnails for, uh, Facebook and stuff like that. Okay, so it's an extremely, extremely limited uh, colouring book, I guess. But it's funny, at least they tried something. I don't think I saw that on any of these previous things. Again, massive points off for that. Massive points off for that. So we have a look at Thunderman. Now you can actually see it in all its glory. There you go. Knock off image. So that, that's Mega Man E, but look. This, surely, look at the way he walks. This is a game. This is a reskinned game, I'm sure of it. It does actually look like reskinned Batman. Look at the way he punches. I'm sure someone can tell me, providing anyone actually watches this, because the thumbnail, I know what the thumbnail's gonna be. It's gonna be a picture of the little TV. Yeah, someone can tell me what the actual game is. It appears that the title screen music is more impressive than whatever music generated in the games. Right, OK. 
Okay, okay. That's getting old. There we go. One player. I mean, it's not like we were expecting anything, I understand it. But. Curly monkeys. Anyone? Curly monkeys. Alright. It's funny because it's got an intro. I wonder if he's got loads of 90s too. Curly monkeys too? Or curly monkey? It's curly monkey too, not curly monkeys. Look, look, look at his face, right? And look where the wire is. It looks like he's jumping towards you. Crazy face, holding a hatchet. Um, is that what they intended? Stage one. Five lives, score zero. Why tell me what the score is at the start? I know it's going to be zero. Wait, I got... Oh! Hey, yo, yo. The colour palette on this is actually half decent. They don't die. There's no di death animation. That's a very nezzy noise, isn't it? That's the best descriptive term I've ever used. That's a very nezzy noise. Oh! Wait, I can, even though I've only got two buttons, I keep confusing myself. Did that just appear out of thin air? I'm easily confused. Hey! Oh, it's a conveyor belt. Oh, warp zone! Wow, it's got warp zones. See, graphically, it's not terrible. Some parallax would have been nice. Look at me complaining that there's no parallax in a system that's 20 quid and shaped like a small TV. I'm so picky. Right, okay, that's enough of Curly Monkeys, otherwise known as Curly Monkey 2. See what I mean about the sort of the way the music's done? It's clearly different on the title screen than it is in the game. Right. The hacker can't, I absolutely cannot, can I, with a name like that? Is that Neo from The Matrix? Oh, look at this! How did I do that? I hold it down, which doesn't seem to work all the time. Okay, and I I either pass gas. Can I jump on those? Can't go backwards. I've got to jump on him, haven't I? No, I haven't. <laughs> ah. Do you know what? That title screen was totally misleading. I don't know what it... It doesn't do what you want it to do when you want it to do it. It does what you don't want it to do when you don't want it to do it. Do you know what I mean? There we go. I just kicked something. I'm not sure what. Something in the face. Achievement! What did you do today, Dave? I kicked something in the face. What is that? Ooh. So of the two platform games we've tried, both of them were Wonderboy knockoffs to some degree. Bollocks. I'm certainly not going to go for all 200 and something games, but, but I kind of figured you figured that. Horse racing. Sold. Oh my god, you've actually got it knocked off Back to the Future 3. One of the worst and hardest games ever. See? I haven't got a gun. It's a knockoff Back to the... I, this is going to get a gameplay all of its own. It's a knockoff Back to the Future 3 game. Kudos, Orb. Kudos. That is your real name. The, the horse sound effects is actually better than the, the console and computer Back to the Future 3 sound effects. As in they didn't have any. Did I just speed up? Listen to it. Yoik. It's a... Uh, there's no life, there's no score, there's no time. Oh, can you imagine this just runs indefinitely like this? Do you know what, if that, that's the case, I'd ship it to prisons and make everyone play this endlessly until they've learned the error of their ways. Society solved. You're welcome. That can't be it. This is what I mean. Hey! Listen to that! There should be a bonus feedback level. <laughs> See what I mean about descriptive term game? Might be stretching it a tad thin. 
Right, well, we'll have a look at one more game. I might do another video where I actually do a, a gameplay of, like, the five best games, as in they feel like genuine games I can find on these. Primitive Man, Primitive Woman, they, they're shit, because they're on other ones. Checkers, Chinese Checkers, F-22, that's on something else. Wonder Rabbit, right, right, hang on. Strong Pick, Merry Christmas! Where were you last month when I wanted to do some Christmas gameplays? Panzer Fly Car. Well, how can I not play it with a title like that? Panzer Fly Car. Level one. Course one. Oh, listen to that. It's a racing game. Listen to that. Right, so I've got an accelerator button. The other button does nothing. <laughs> Good start. I got fuel. Right, this. Oh, there on the left. There's a. Uh... Oh shit! I've gone no break. There's a there's a stage or course indication. Did I not die? Look, I'm going a hundred. I'm going two hundred kilometers an hour. You gotta let your hand up. What? The AI is lethal. Lethal. I'm half tempted to get jump. No. What was that? Oh, fuel. You pick up. No. If I pick up fuel, why have I only got thirty-two? You pick up. No, no. That's a tire spike because, of course, it is. <laughs> Come on. Don't be pulling over. What does that mean? Oh, I'm about to run out of gas. Why did I say gas? I'm English. I'm about to run out of petrol. I'm out of petrol. Look, look, look. I'll go on then. I spoil you. One more game. Because that one was shit. Back game. No, come on. Let's just get... Card game. Red dog, panther flight car, we were on that one. Dragon, because... Oh, look at us being spoiled. Stage one. What? It's Snake. Really? Does this mean it's Snake existed on... on the NES before it existed on phones? Some sort of backdated compensation is in order there, I feel. Right, I never ever played Snake. I don't think I ever had a phone that had Snake on it. You ever try to explain to kids? Oh, it's got that Tron thing going on. You know, you know that once upon a time your phones, they were just phones. And they're scared. And say things like, thank God I wasn't alive then. Yeah, and TV won 24 hours. Either. Oh. Doink. So yeah, snake. Well, there you go. Let's uh, let's round up. So let's round up. The Orb Retro Mini TV Game Handheld Console. Is that what it is? Retro Mini TV Handheld Console. Is it any good? Not really. It's the same as all these sort of Orb products. The games are questionable, as I did mention. I want with um, Thunderman. You're gonna have to troll through a lot, but why am I holding this now? This is you know, what we're talking about. There are there are a lot of questionable games, whereas you could argue that game is too strong a descriptive term for what it actually is. It's just to make up the numbers, and they are ultimately are uh, well shit. But there are a few in there that are actually you know kind of cool um, little gems like Thunderman. But uh, basically, it's a display piece, isn't it? I think it's a display piece. It's. I'll learn to talk in a minute. It would have got so many more extra points, or I'm going to glue these on, if there was a hole for the, the rabbit ears. But, you know, it's just a cool little piece to, to stick on your shelf and leave on. Because, like I said, the capturing it itself um, the, doesn't do it any justice. The screen is actually really quite nice on it. It's just such a nice little product. You know, they've got, they've got working volume. Uh, and I forgot to mention at the start of this video when I was, you know, looking at it and talking about it. Obviously, you've got your stand, which you have to rotate to be the correct way or it'll be on the piss. But um, look at the screen. I'm assuming there's some, if I look through the side, there's some level of magnification going on there. But I just love the fact, in an age where even the other ones of these are flat, 
like that and every computer screen tv screen phone screen we've got it's oh well, i would hope so on a phone screen is flat it just it just reeks of a you know a bygone time where your tvs were like that i do like that i think the fact that it's curved like that is just such nice attention to detail it really does make it feel like a nice little retro product the sound itself is loud it's decent the title screen music appears to be of a different type of sounding system to the in-game music that's more nes based music but that yeah it's just it's really really nice i cannot get over how nice it is as a little tv 20 quid is it worth buying uh, ultimately if you've got a bunch of handheld devices any modern handheld device any genuine piece of knockoff chinese tan that can run up to neo geo no um but do you like cool pieces of like tats like this you know like for display purposes and do you like as i do i have a weakness for i know i have a weakness for um games that companies when they have to come up with their own games such as orb although i warrant that across what any other orb products i buy from this point onwards <laughs> i'm gonna have the same games on it so yeah i like it i like it as a little display piece like that i really 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 do i like that also as i mentioned when i was capturing footage if you are if you do find gems in this and you are serious about playing it why you would i don't know because there's no ability to pause ability to save and resume and stuff like that i don't know why i'm saying that because i do like it you obviously play it on the um on, on your actual tv and as i mentioned when i captured that footage on the tv i was quite surprised at the range of me being sat a meter away from this and the little wireless pad still picking it up are the pads any good ultimately no they're shit but they work they perform adequately for what you know for, for the games available on that device and when it says you know it's a little mini tv it's not it's this isn't it i, I know that it's this and they've just separated it into two components but it's so well you know implemented as a little cute it's a stocking filler essentially isn't it it's a gift it's a stocking filler it's some retro tap for people of my sort of nature to give them for a present that's what it is but when it's so well designed like that and it hits its form factor i think it's fantastic so yeah the pads are super light super cheap but they work they work and let's be honest you're not buying something like this are you unless you're buying it for a gift <laughs> in which case you're never going to play it or experience it you're not buying something like this for serious gaming so you, what do you expect but i'm just quite surprised that for 20 quid you get wireless tech that actually seems to work pretty pretty well elephant in the room elephant in the room what an absolute pisser complete and utter design failure i mean they probably made when they made it just went well it's 20 quid what do people want well i'll tell you what we want if you put that many games on the device regardless of how expensive it is or not give me an ability to actually reset to the main menu on the fucking pad seriously not having to go around the back of here every time and resetting like that because that gets old very very fast but i like it I, th I just think it nails its form factor i really really do as i said it's not a serious gaming device and it's not for people who want to play proper proper games it's a gift and in that i quite like it uh, i would have been chuffed if someone got me this they would have known what the stuff i like for starters just because look it's an ickle telly it's a curtain burner from back in the day so basically the old retro mini tinny tinny tv handheld console it's all right i mean if you like stuff like me you know form factor in made up games that aren't rip-offs or reskins of nes games then you'll be in your element anyway as always i'd love to know what you think particularly if you actually in the rare occasion that anyone who watches my channel actually has this would love to know what you think thank you very much for watching and i'll see you later